All right, guys, I've had some questions. Does WSJTX work with the RS-998? It certainly does. I got it running here. Just made a QSO. You can see it on the right side there. Things are running. You can see it running over here. So let's try, let's try answering somebody's CQ. There we go, next time around, it should call him. Let's see, Let's see if I got it set right. I don't use WSJTX too much because I guess I have to enable the, okay, there it goes. Sorry about that. I'm so used to, you know, the RS-998 does this natively, so you don't really need WSGTX, but just wanted to let you know it was working. I've made contacts with it. It's one cable. Going to, we'll see if we make a contact, and I'll show you the configuration, what you had to do. It, it was real simple. I hooked this up. Um, with one cable, one USB cable. Um, it created all the devices. I had to go into to the control panel and and um, activate the devices. They were disabled, so you had to enable them. But I had to, to um, enable them, and then everything started working. There was one parameter over here in the TX settings that we had to change, and that was you know, input type for the main. I had to say it was coming from the USB rather than the microphone. So that was the only change I made over on, on this side. It looks like we're, we are exchanging information down here on this QSO. So, looking good though. Let me show you the, let's, I want to see this thing end. He's sending the RR73 and I'm sending the 73 back. So that's good. So we, we completed the, the QSO. Let's go over here to the settings. Radio settings, show you that. It's the, if I can get the focus here, there we go. That's the TS-2000, that's what the radio emulates. Of course, you, you find the right COM port that, that it's created. It's just eight bits, default I did. Over here you say cat, um, USB, none. And of course the cat worked and it's transmitting through it. So. That was those settings. Then over here on the audio settings, we had the Wolf Radio tr Transmit. Sorry about that. Radio Receive was the Wolf, and the Radio Transmitter is the Wolf. So I just picked those, and everything's working. So let's close this out. So I'm very happy. It looks good, works great, um, works flawlessly. Easy to make contacts, and um, and so you can do this this way. And um, I do have to say that the WSJTX um, interface is much nicer than the one on the Wolf. Of course, the one on the Wolf is native. You don't need any wires. You don't need to do any programming or anything. So, so it's a little different. But let me let me show you that. Let me stop this over here. We'll come over here to the Wolf Services FT8, and this is the native process over here. I probably, I need to probably go back and change that um, setting. The TX setting, change this back to microphone. Go back into the services, FT8. Just show you a quick one. I have another video out there where I just demoed all of this, but I want you to see, you can see the waterfall coming in. And when it gets done, it'll go to tell you the cycle is completed. There it goes. And then, then the, the data appears. So this is native. It's not as fancy as WSJTX, but it's, it's kind of neat. I hope this 
helps you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.